Hey, VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, this is going to be my entry into Jeff Kemp and his uh, 7700 contest, which I believe stands for his 70th, 70th video and his 700 subs contest. Um, I believe it goes all the way out to the end of February, so still like a, you know, a week in it. Actually, no, quite a bit of time. It's only the 10th. What am I thinking? Uh, so it's still a bit of time to kind of jump on board. So I'll put a link down below. I'll try to remember to go back in and do that. So you guys can go over to Jeff's channel if you're not a sub. Subscribe to his channel. Jump on board his contest and and uh, pay tribute to his channel. But uh, yeah, let me kind of just jump right into it because he had three kind of simple, right to the point type of questions. And the first one was, which album did you anticipate its release and were disappointed by it? And the first one that immediately jumped in the, jumped in my mind when I read that question was this one here, which is Zayo All Else Failed. Now, this is my favorite album by them, mind you. So what was the disappointment? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I first discovered them. This is the CD of the same album. You see different covers there. But uh, I was saw this... CD in a store one day. This is back like early 2000s when this came out. Um, saw this in a store and I was just like, that's a cool cover. I'm just, I just got really curious by the artwork and pulled it out and listened to it. And I was like, man, that is just great stuff. I mean, it's just good. I guess they were Christian metal at this, with this point or whatever. But at the same time, if you don't go in and actually read the lyrics, most people would never know. Because, I mean, they bring it as hard as anyone, especially on this album. This album is freaking amazing. But, uh, so this was my introduction to them, and I bought this CD that day after listening to it in the store and just totally fell in love with it and discovered, you know, their other stuff since. Um, yeah, but so then when I heard that it was being pressed on vinyl, it was just like, whoa. And I stumbled across this out in Connecticut, actually when I was out there visiting a friend. So picked it up and you know, I'm sitting on it for three or four days until I get home so I can actually play it. So I'm just all pumped up, you know, finally it's on vinyl and my favorite Zayo record and blah, blah, blah. And get home and put it on and discovered they went in and basically my two favorite songs on the entire album and like remixed or did something different to just my favorite. You know, none of the other, all the other tracks are the exact same. But for whatever reason, they decided to go and mess with the best songs on the album. And and literally remix them to the point where it sounds like, it sounds like the tape, if, if, the, if it's, blah, 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 as if they use tape. But like the tape got all twisted up and somehow like the vocals got off track with the, the guitar riffs with the drumming and it sounds like one big huge mistake. And I'm just like, of all the things to screw with on this album. And, and again, it was just like the biggest disappointment that I'm thinking, I mean, they have what, 10 albums out or something like that. And my favorite album and my favorite song by them and that's the one they decided to screw up the most when they put it out on vinyl. Not to mention not keeping the original artwork. You know, which was what initially attracted me to them off this album anyway. So first they screwed my artwork, then they screwed my favorite songs. And I'm just like, that's just a freaking, yeah. So that was extremely disappointing. Now, I think I mentioned that a little bit when I sh showed that album when I first got it too. Now, you know, I still like some of the other songs on there that are normal. It's just the fact that my favorites are the ones that are, you know, all screwed up. But anyway, move on to question number two. Uh, tell us something about yourself that you're, you've are you never revealed or revealed before in a video. <clears throat> I think you mentioned something like if there's other hobbies or or things like that that, that you do. Um, I think the one thing maybe, the only other thing I kind of have a hobby that I collect and that type of thing would be uh, firearms. Uh, I'm a huge Second Amendment guy. And I, I don't think I've ever shown, I, I've, I know I never talked, I've never shown, I never talked about that in the VC. I think maybe one time I had a, a Glock, one of my Glock hats on in one of the videos or whatever. But um, 
but yeah, I, I love firearms. I, you know, have a number of guys that I go shooting with, uh, that type of thing. And everything from, you know, little concealed carry pistols to, you know, ARs to uh, shotguns, just kind of a little bit of everything. So um, I actually used to have a another channel here on YouTube. I uh, don't have it up anymore because I kind of just kind of didn't have time to, to continue it. But I had a channel where I used to do videos uh, mainly talking about firearms, some political things, but mainly uh, firearms and things like that. And, uh, and it was kind of fun because the reason that I decided to put the channel up was not to make people like think guns were good or to say guns are bad or anything like that. But my motivation originally from, for starting it was, it was just, it was the fact that I was seeing, you know, the whole debate about that coming up. And there were so many, there's so much strong and passionate opinions about it. But then oddly enough, it's one of those things where like so many people knew nothing about it, maybe with the exception of what they saw in a movie. But, you know, to even think if someone had ever kind of sat there and was showing them, this is the difference between this and this. This is what this does. This is what, you know, uh, I saw a really funny video one time where the, a girl was actually kind of make, making that point about people not really knowing and she made a list of, of pictures of different guns and she was asking people which ones do you think should be banned you know to kind of pick them out and the funny thing was with the three that everyone kept saying were to be banned two of them were guns from star wars like they didn't even exist <laughs> and people were like oh yeah those should be made and she's like well you have to go tell chewbacca about that one because those are guns from star wars so it was stuff like that just kind of made me think like I don't want to change people's minds one way or the other, but I, I just want to help people understand what these are, how they work. So I had some fun doing that, but like I said, just with time and everything, um, just didn't have a lot a lot of time to put more into that channel. So, but definitely something that I, I certainly love. Um, question number three, where do you see your collection going in 2020? There's two places I see it going in 2020. Number one, it will be going into Discogs. <laughs> that's that's probably the biggest project for 2020. Uh, is getting all my vinyl uh, cassettes and CDs into Discogs and my 45s too, uh, accurately into Discogs, which is what's going to make it take a bit of time, uh, and box sets. And then the other place it'll be going is in about two months it's gonna be going across town because I'm gonna be moving <laughs> in a couple months. So, um, you know, there'll be a new music room set up and all the things that go with moving a collection. But <clears throat> I think more so to the, the spirit of exactly what you were really asking about in that, in that question, uh, I don't see any gigantic changes. I mean, I kind of did that a year or two ago with the, the purge that I did when I really went through and kind of pulled out just all the stuff that wasn't in, you know, really good shape and that type of thing, which is really helping out a lot with putting stuff in the discogs because I'm not really having to do a ton of evaluation from record to record. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm kind of glad I did that purge before I started putting things, putting things in. Um, other than that, the, the, the only thing you'll probably see maybe a, just a little more is I've always kind of been with any with any particular record. You have to actually ask me about a specific record, and I can tell you I have no idea where it comes from. So there were some records I only wanted a reissue. Some records I only want original pressing. Um, and now what I'm finding is there's some records that I wanted to re they want to reissue, but now I want to go back and add in some of the original pressings too as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you'll probably see over you know, some of my videos over the next year or so, maybe a few more OG pressings of things that I already have. Uh, you may see a bit more of that kind of popping up on my channel. But for the most part, it'll kind of just be all, all the things you guys have been used to seeing from, from my channel. So, so yeah, there you go, man. Um, again, congratulations on the 700 subs. And... Um, 
Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, let me know what you think. And we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, VC.